I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Obviously he is, too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. We need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected in an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah, and he may not. No, I respect Jacob having my back. Just don't be too paranoid, buddy. Okay, I guess we're good with that. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Actually, wanted to talk. Medical matters. Aware that mission is dangerous. Different species react differently to stress. Aware you come by a great deal. Have had other species become attracted to me before. Awkward. Not interested. Wait a minute, Borden. You're just yanking me around, aren't you? Shocking suggestion. Doctor-patient confidentiality, a sacred trust. Would never dream of mockery. Enjoy yourself while possible, Shepard. We'll be here studying cell reproduction. Much simpler, less alcohol and mood music required. Okay. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. I'm good, Shepard. Ready for anything. We live, we'll get loud. Spill some drinks on the Citadel. We'll talk later. Commander. Okay, that's one of the last things we'll say to uh, Jacob until either the IFF. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I'm surprised by Thane's spiritual side. His psych profile mentioned little of it. And he carries himself with such cold confidence. I'm not sure if I find him scary or sexy. A lot of women like bad boys. Oh, I don't know. Good guys are pretty nice, too. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Samara would like to see you in observation on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. Yeah, so that's one of the last things we'll say to Shepard, um, not Shepard, to Jacob, until the suicide mission. And I think that's probably the last thing we'll say to more than two. Oh, another dangerous alien aboard, Commander. Thanks. Why can't you collect coins or commemorative plates or something? I assume everything is going well up here. Good for now. Fractured. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Okay, first I want to go back to Ilium and I'll come right back to talk to my people. decide what am I going to do next I know there's one mission with the hammerhead and that's not project overlord I think it's firewalker firewalker is much easier that's just the hammerhead the alternative to the Mako
Okay, one more level until level 30. And I think before then, I'm going to do everything. I'm going to refrain my powers. Hmm. I probably will change for slam. Definitely Liara's DLC will be the last one. Well, last of the three. The people here are asked to sacrifice their own convictions and beliefs in exchange for a soulless corporate identity. I understand that kind of life would be attractive to some people, but not to me. Uh, I really don't feel like I need tech damage right now. Is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. I overheard you, Doc. Is this the data you're looking for? The Corosa Generational Archive. You found it! Thank you. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. Why is this data so important, anyway? It's a genetic history for the entire Corosa family. It's used for high-level reproductive negotiations. It would be like a human... pedigree, I suppose. Without it, you're bargaining from a greatly weakened position. Losing this would have hurt my family for generations, maybe even destroyed it. If this data is so important, why didn't you have backups? We did. A rival family introduced a computer virus and our techs were sloppy. The virus destroyed all our data. I just spent a fortune getting the data recovered and reconstructed when Nasana went crazy. We live in a world of infinite data redundancy. To lose something so important because of one crazy Asari? There's your data. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. Nice. 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 Meh. Excuse me. You know where I can find Serena? She's not here anymore. Oh, you're the one she was helping out. She took a job off-world. Didn't say where. She gave me something for you. Looks like a message. I'll listen to it later. Oh, sure. See ya. Hey, Shepard. I was on my way to a new life when the new burst arrived. The bitch is dead. I assume that means your friend is alive and he finished his job. Tell him if I ever see him, I'll buy him a drink. Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. Mm, yeah, I guess I can get this. 
You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? Her first mate? Your father? What about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? Why not? Every Asari has biotics. Might as well use them, right? Pure bloods are a waste of gen- Ah, yes. Samara the Justicar. I'll note your arrival in my log. Do so. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm laughing. They I assume that was supposed to be funny. What was your father again? Solarian. For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. Navicor There's a 12 been implicated in a massive financial scandal with authorities investigating a number of Okay. Back to the Normandy. I love myself. Cape Town. Cape Town. Cape Town. A Cape Town. Tomorrow, Bitch, I know. Bitch, you guessed it. What? Huh? You's right. And we're back. Okay, I gotta end the, you know, the lovey-dovey stuff with both of these two women. Jeez. Shepard. Just checking in. How you doing? I'm branching out. Got a list of enemies now. They all give me joy when I picture cutting them, crushing them. There's this one imprint, a solarian with the, what are they, the, the things on his head pulled apart? Bet it caused a generation of revenge. What is that, a few weeks for them? So what did you want? You know, I kind of thought connecting with your past would bring stability. <laughs> See, now we're having fun. Me remembering good deaths, and you with your, your funny human thing you're doing. My job is to hurt things. Direction, control, that's your job, Battlemaster. You're why I'm a soldier, not dead or crazed like an animal. Thank you, Shepard. You gave me purpose. Now let's find something big to kill. Okay, let me talk to Jack. I have to end this. I gotta stay loyal. Hey. Talk to me, Jack. Why? I'm not interested in some dumb shit love affair. Never goes right. Let's forget it. Good idea. Whew. Hey. Talk to me, Jack. Why? I'm not interested in some Let's dumb forget shit. it. Good oh, idea. Oh, crap.
I don't want to curse her out. I mean, she wouldn't be disloyal if I curse her out. I don't think he would curse her out, but still. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Yes, I'd like that. I've been thinking about the last time we talked. I'm sorry. I was unprofessional, and I wasn't thinking rationally. I was being stupid and selfish. Forget about it, Tally. We're friends. Yes, right, friends. And I'm honored to serve at your side, Shepard. Aww. Shielding done to your power grid balance. Not much. Oh, she seems so disappointed. That seems like she would be the only one who actually loves Shepard. Or really, really loves Shepard. Oh well. Now I really have to find a way to end it with Jack. Okay, I know two people who won't talk to us. Gotta talk to Samara. And like I've said before, the reason why I don't talk to Kasumi because there's no conversation with Kasumi. I don't know if she was day one DLC, but it's still crap that you can't talk to her in a regular way. I think she would have very interest a lot of interesting conversations. I am glad you came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. It's alright. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardot Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster. She is my daughter. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free. But selfish. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, 
bask and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I owe nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long-lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morinth. something. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the collectors. Do you have any leads I could chase down? My old contact network often located rare equipment for me. Would you like me to get in touch with them? Let's see what they've got. something. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. There's something else I'd like to talk about. Ask. Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Keppel Syndrome. What exactly is the problem? My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hanar home world. It's very humid and rains every day. Our lungs can't deal with the moisture. Over time, the tissue loses its ability to absorb oxygen. It becomes harder to breathe. Eventually, we suffocate. Can't they do something about that? The Hanar have funded a genetic engineering program. They should be able to adapt us. The project has only been running for a few years. I don't believe my body will still draw breath by the time it bears fruit. Are you going to be alright until the end of the mission? I should be fine for another 8 to 12 months. The more time I spend in human environments, the faster it progresses. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, we'll be victorious. Or dead. Either way, I won't be a burden to you. Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar illuminated primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Later. I'd like to consider what we've already... I should go. I shall return to my meditations. Okay, I want to see if I can end this relationship with Jack. Dang, it seems like as soon as you don't want to be in a relationship with someone, they stop talking to you. Women. Hey. Talk to me, Jack. Why? I'm not interested in some dumb shit love affair. Never goes right. Don't jerk me around, Jack. You're the one who... Murtok, a guy. Used me like the rest. For sex, for biotics. It was fun. And he ruined everything. We tagged a weapons frigate with a Batarian escort and got separated. He had a choice. Leave with the guns, or come back for me. Idiot dumped the score and waded into the squints. I made the shuttle, but no way he was getting out. And? I fly for a day or so, and then the shuttle kicks out this recording. He set it to play if he hadn't checked in. He figured that would mean he was dead. Talked about the future we were supposed to have. How he had planned to set us up a home. How he... 
how he loved me and he was sorry it wasn't going to happen. You feel like his death was your fault? No. He did it to himself. You feel? You get sloppy. It's that damn simple. He found out, and you'll find out. I can't make all of that go away, Jack. Not in a few talks. No kidding. Told you we wouldn't work. Guess you'll be spending more time upstairs. Crap. I don't want to do a relationship with her. If you're not willing to try to be normal, I guess this was a waste of time. I guess so. See you around. Let's go kill something sometime. Okay, good. Had to stay loyal. I like Jack. I like Jack a lot. I would have loved to be in a relationship with her. Those final scenes would have been really cool, but I'm telling you, Mass Effect 3. And that's a bigger one if I can make it. Yeah, Mass Effect 3, you don't get a real payoff. I'm not going to spoil anything, but... Well, I mean, the game is like five years old. Especially Mass Effect 3, it's what? Four years old, coming up on four years old now. Wow. But anyway, the point is, it's like... There's really no payoff at all. And I mean, there's a payoff, but you really don't get like the final scene like you do in Mass Effect 2. Mass Effect 2, you get a nice bedroom scene and I love you I love you back you can spend time together oh good I thought I was gonna lose her loyalty all right yeah but you don't get that in Mass Effect 3 her final scene you talk to her through a communicator she's like you better come back you son of a bitch and that's it that's really it these other people Tally who else uh, Liara and I think someone else no I think no Tali Liara or Ashley you get a final bedroom scene and a you know final goodbye scene not in this alright enough of that okay I'm not gonna go to Omega yet but I'm thinking what I should do no 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 not yet and yeah not yet so assignments ooh what's this Mm. Um. Okay, why don't we do that real quick? 